Hi, hello and welcome to the first of, we hope, many YouTubes of the Bumanis Echo. My name's David Williams and this is Dream Williams. All of it. Dream Oraya Serem Williams. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we hope to bring in news and views, not just for Bumanis, but Anglesey, Gwynedd, perhaps even further afield. So if you have a business that you, you want to uh, chuck a bit of advertising, get in touch. Or uh, if you've got an event coming up and you want to tell people about it, also get in touch uh, by emailing us at thebumarisecho at yahoo.com, all lowercase. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, we want to keep this as light-hearted as possible, but we, we want to have a look at the serious issues as well. Over to Dream. Thank you. Hello, I'm Roy episode Kudtav or Echo Bimaris. The new and Kesho do the news are views, you know, team just to be Maris or Ernest Moon are going to be good. On us, all it's a good business, the Guiviat, Nesunian in general. Email email me at the be Maris Echo at yahoo.com. Ever only world bell at the name a gashinate. Rotany a show. Cato Hon and Uskaven Alectrid. On Dutany Vim and Etrich am here at a right Divri Volyam. And all that's that. Back to that. Thank you. Uh, right, first up, a bit of a rant. Uh, some irresponsible dog owners locally are not clearing up after their dogs. Now, it's not nice, uh, it's irresponsible, and it's also against the law. So please, if your doggy takes a dump, pick it up and dispose of it. You can actually put it in the ordinary litter bins now um, yeah, because there aren't many uh, uh, doggy poo ones. But please don't leave it there for somebody to stand in. As I say, it's not nice and it's irresponsible. If you see somebody who's going to ignore it, point it out to them. Give them your hanky to pick it up or, or something along those lines anyway. Uh, right, rant over. Uh, I've been told by Canal Bon uh, Bumaris there are still tickets available for Bootleg Blondie uh, duo tribute band. Uh, it's in the Canal Bon on Friday the 28th of July. Doors open at 7.30 and tickets are only £12.50. I might get along there myself if the wife lets me, uh, but having said that, my black bin gets out more than I do. Uh, if you want more info on that and for all other upcoming events, go to www.canalbonbumaris.org.uk. Now, we hope to be out and about filming uh, over the next few days, weeks, months. So if you do spot us wherever you are, don't be shy. Come over and say hello and perhaps we, uh, you'll uh, let us film you. Go on YouTube. Um, easily recognisable. I've got no hair, a big moustache, although I generally wear a hat and I'm usually accompanied by a small person with very long hair and we very often have a chihuahua cross with us called Martin who's quite well known in the village, uh, in the town rather. Um, now I've been told today that it's no longer possible to go, uh, uh, to climb rather, up the uh, Marquis of Anglesey column, which is a shame. Uh, but we went up a couple of years ago and I have to say it was quite rickety and a bit nerve-wracking. Uh, but um, got to the top okay and we filmed the panorama it was on a small camera, uh, which uh, suffered drastically from wind noise, but for once it didn't switch off halfway through, which it does to me sometimes. And as I say, it's a small film, uh, it's reasonable quality, and it's, I think it's worth watching. It's a spectacular view. So, you know, if it's going to be closed for a long time, you might like to have a look. Uh, if you live further afield and you're watching, uh, like uh, Stephen Price is, uh, do watch it all, mate. I know you uh, might well have been up there in years gone by, I can't remember, but uh, certainly I know you will broadcast us further afield, my European cousin. Uh, uh, to speak to him in his own language. All right, la. Uh, now then, uh, uh, to anybody intending to visit Bumarius for a holiday or just for a day trip, there's more to this town than just the main street and the seafront. Uh, my reason for saying this is I, I was passing a coach load of uh, tourists disembarking the other day and, and their driver said to them uh, there's not much to see and I thought well that's a bit short there is more than just a castle in this town it's a beautiful place and there's quite a lot tucked away in the back streets and we're hoping to go and film uh, the back streets and uh, other things to see over the next couple of weeks uh, so have a look uh, about episode three 
uh, and um, we're, we're hoping to do a, a run round Bumaris Jail, which is uh, a, bit, a bit eerie. We're just waiting for portable lighting to arrive. As I say, if you want to announce something, events or otherwise, just send us an email, Bumaris Echo, uh, sorry, the Bumaris Echo at yahoo.com, we'll see what we can do. And it would be nice, actually, if you, if you want to comment on this film, uh, send us an email. I won't bother reading any nasty ones. Uh, finally, almost finally, congratulations to all the members of the Welsh Traditional Karate Federation who took their gradings at the Canal von Brailsford in Bangor last Saturday. Uh, they all worked very hard, and there were some wonderful achievements there, and some Dan Graves achieved, and some people got her... Green belt. And your brother got his... Brown belt. And they're uh, very proud of them. Uh, I should also say that um, not so long ago there was a competition, the Errol Williams Memorial uh, Competition, which is held annually, and um, uh, it was a wonderful event actually, and the overall winner, I'm very proud to say, was my daughter Dream, and uh, the club are also very proud of her, she works hard. Uh, now, for anyone interested in taking up karate as a sport, or just to keep fit, um, pop along to the gym at the normal site. Uh, it's near the Bangor football ground, Bangor Normal Gym down there, on a Wednesday evening for about 6.45 and ask for Gwyn and he'll give you any more details that you need to know. And uh, the first session's free, you just turn up in tracky bottoms and a t-shirt, that's all you need, you don't have to have your karate suit at the first lesson obviously. Uh, thereafter it's £3 per session and if you can't turn up or well, for whatever reason you don't pay three quid you don't owe three quid it's pay as you go a bit like phones um, now if you want to have a look at the uh, welsh traditional karate federation uh, facebook site the wtkf block capitals uh, you can have a deco on there see what's happening and the banger club site is called the seki rio zan that's s-e-k-i second word r-y-u Last word, Z-A-N, and a dreams written down in block capitals for me. So um, have a look at that and, again, see what you think. If you're unsure, by all means, send the email through to the Bumaris Echo uh, at uh, yahoo.com and uh, we'll get back to you with anything else you need to know on that. And also, this Saturday coming, which will be July the 15th, uh, Bangor Fair and Carnival. Should be great. It was great last year. I totally enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't tell the kids it was on. It cost me a fortune. Um, now then, uh, last week I went for an aortic scan. And this is a free thing that's offered to men 65 and over. If you haven't had an invitation to go for a scan yet, I'll give you the phone number in a minute. And it's basically a, a, a little bit of wet stuff on your tummy and the gentleman rubs a, a, a pickup on there and your picture appears on the screen like magic. Uh, I was very pleased, my aorta was fine. Now, I mean, this blood vessel is 2.3 centimeters wide. It runs down here and then branches off. Now, if you've been a heavy smoker any time in your life, there is a, a more of a likelihood that this, the walls of, this, uh, of the aorta may harden. Uh, I was a heavy smoker. I actually stopped smoking in the ambulance on the way to the hospital after I had a heart attack. I thought it was a good idea. Um, but if there is a weak point and you get a bulge there and it balloons out and bursts, you're not going to make it. By the time the ambulance gets there, you've gone on to better things. So go and get it checked out. If there is a fault, if it is broadening, they will watch it and, and keep an eye on things. If it's uh, getting to the iffy point, it can be repaired quite easily, according to the National Health. Uh, no, bless them, the repairs can be done. So don't leave things until it's too late. Um, the phone number for the North Wales Screening Office is 01492 863563. <coughs> there are other numbers for other parts of the country. and they, They'll be more than happy to give them to you. If you miss that number, watch the programme again, wouldn't you? Uh, so I think that's about it. And if, like myself, your aorta was OK, they will give you a piece of paper that looks like this to say yes, you're not going to die tomorrow, which I was quite happy to hear. Now, uh, um, that's all from myself, David Williams, and uh, Dream or I are Seren Williams. Uh, Dream has a little something to say, and hope to see you again lots and lots of times. Remember to click that big red subscribe button down below, and that grey bell to stay notified. Along with, along with that, 
press that big blue like button. Remember all of that, actually. If you don't, just watch it again, obviously. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.